Hello, this session is to understand monitor purchase requisition items fury application. Once you click on the application, you will find this particular screen. So here, the what you can see, uh, it is divided in three parts. First is we can see this as a filters. Okay then this is a graphical representation and this is a tabular representation for the data so here you can select any of the uh, parameter and then your report the whole thing will be filtered with uh, that particular parameter okay suppose you select one plant so the data which is shown is only for this 1710 plant or you can go with the storage location okay so it will be showing you only with respect to this storage location <clears throat> same for other fields here you have filter so here you have adapt filter so we have many more filters so we can add it once I click here and click on ok the filter is added on the main screen okay so what you can do is uh, the only important filters which are used by you or the users to which you will be providing this application you can select that much and then they will use uh, the same this was about the filters <coughs> So now we'll go to the uh, go to the graphical representation. I've just uh, hide uh, the filter part, and okay, I'll click on OK first. Yeah. So this is the filter part. Uh, this is the graphical representation. So now, first of all, we have the option like here. If you see tabular, table view. So you'll have you can see only table view then you have this uh, graphical view so you can see only graphs here chart view we can say and chart and table both so here you have both the things together okay so for this charts uh, we can change the representation here like we have this uh, column chart we can go to bar chart okay so it will be shown horizontally then we can go for line chart so it will shown as a it will be shown as a line so all of these charts can you can select and uh, the way you want to understand the graphical representation you can understand from here so i'll just keep it as column chart then we have this full screen okay maximize so we can see the chart in detail over here okay so i'll just minimize it then we have this settings in settings we have dimensions and majors it is very simple to understand so uh, anything uh, the parameter the values if you want to select the values like uh, total value or uh, in approval what is the in approval total value so you can select it over here so majors can be selected over here and dimension here dimension means any of the parameter like company code which is not the value which is not quantity which is not the number is the dimension so you can select it from here and uh, suppose I select company code okay <clears throat> I click on OK so now here the system will show you all data with respect to company code 1710 okay and <clears throat> you can see both of these company code total value and this is without follow on document okay so there is no other document created for this so this comes from here so if you want to change you can change okay so there are fixed and uh, selective values which you can select now i will just uh, take it as material group what it was before or uh, we can see with material so if you see here so this all comes with the material okay these three parameters with the material three parameters one two three now <clears throat> if you select on group and if i click here 
the data in table format will be changed to all of these raw materials which don't have follow on document without follow on document okay so uh, this is the way which you can understand the documents means the graphical representation uh, wherever whenever you click on something it will also change the data in the below table form okay and it will show you the exact data <clears throat> now this is view by it is the same if i select by company code a filter will be added over here you can go and see here the filter is added over here so at a time i can have multiple filters multiple is like three three filters i can have okay fine so now uh, we will come to the i will just uh, go to the table form okay view and we will understand this now we can go to the settings and we can add the fields fields adding is like i will add the batch created on date company code company name created by all of these so i have a lot of fields to take it as a column so when i click on ok and i can scroll it this side so you can see all of these fields added okay now whenever you want to download this you just go here export as and you select what format you want it is a excel and just click on export so you'll be able to download this and this is again to like maximize and then minimize okay <clears throat> here you have an option to send a send as a mail okay and you can also save the tile whatever filters you are selecting uh, all of these things you can just click here and then monitor purchase acquisition subtitle description page you can just do this and <clears throat> save it that's it so whatever question if you have any question you can just uh, let me know thank you very much